I used to be a talk show host. Why did you quit? Yeah. Right. Thanks, guys. I'm Zima Rashi. This is Ed Before Bed. Welcome to the show. It's our first show in a, in a bit of a while, hey? It's been quite a while. Yeah, I don't know if I've been gone for like 20 years or something. Ugh. But I've learned a lot, something along the way. Long division. It's really hard. Um, but you know what? Um, I've also learned that Vancouver is probably the greatest city in the world. No, yeah, actually, yeah. is the greatest city in the yeah. world. Yeah. I mean, from uh, its amazing art scene, yeah, right? Its amazing entertainment industry, yeah. The incredible price of cheap pizza in this city, yeah. 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 You know what, Kevin? Play my music. Let's get this show started. Dance, yes, sir. Sit down. Okay. Right. Oh, oh that was great. That was awesome. All right. So our first guest back from the yeah. show. Yeah. Can I chat with you for a um, second? I'm doing a show here. I got you on the show because I just want you to be yourself. Stop sweating, too. No okay. Matter, no matter. I love you. Thank you. Moving right along, our first guest back on this historic event is... Uh, guys, who is our first, uh, first guest? Uh, no one. No, we don't have a guest. Balls. Okay, um, I'm just gonna call my good friend Richard and see if he can help us. Oh my god. Hello. Hello, Richard. Yeah. Hey, I really need your help. We're doing a show. We don't have a guest. Can you help us? No, no, I I'm actually watching a show right now. No, I, I, I know. I, I can see you. You're actually watching our show, and it would really help the show if you came. Thank you. Okay. No, I, I can't. All right, please welcome a very special guest, my insurance adjuster, Richard Scribe. <laughs> what a guest! Hey. 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 Richard, everybody. Richard, Richard. 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 Ah, <laughs> oh, Richard. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, Coming. yeah. Listen, I'm yeah. not very uh, uh, comfortable in front of cameras and such. I don't. Uh, oh. Well, you know, I, I couldn't help but notice, but there's a film crew that's been following you since you got in. Oh, these, these guys? Yeah. Oh, I don't even notice them anymore. They've been following me around for a year and a half. They're like my shadow now. <laughs> a, a year and a half? Is, are they doing like a, a documentary about, uh, maybe, is insurance really that exciting? Well, it is, but, um, well, if you have a second, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly tell you. Uh, so, I work in an insurance company called Just In Case. I, I came up with that name. Um, I came home from work early one day to pick up some paperwork, and I found a, um, uh, a half-naked sweating man sitting on my couch who uh, <laughs> informed me that he had been humping my wife. Oh, no. um, my wife then informed me that she was leaving me for Tim, who's an, uh, an artist. He's an out-of-work painter, basically. 
I immediately went for a walk. I ended up in my local bar where I uh, was having a drink, and there was an open poetry night, which I didn't want anything to do with, but um, see, I'll tell you, I had an epiphany. And right there and then on that bar stool, I wrote a poem. I put my hand up, I went up on stage, and I read that poem in front of 80 strangers. And it's changed my life. It has changed my life. I, I, I take my poetry to the business district of Vancouver. I stand on top of garbage cans and, and, and mailboxes, and I just read it out to the masses. I'm on, I'm on a street corner every day of the week. Wow. Uh, yeah. Actually, you know, I could probably explain it a little bit. I brought a clip. Um, can we roll that clip? Because we wear suits and ties doesn't mean we need to turn a blind eye to the artist's side, to our brain's right side, because it's fact. Mixing business with an art is a tightrope act. When I'm out here on a limb, please don't turn your back, because rain or shine, bring your umbrella. Because I'm raining down rhymes relevant to modern times into the past two if you want to press rewind. To the past two if you want to press rewind. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was really good. Mm -hmm. That was that was yeah. deep, man. That was amazing. Thank you. Deep. I think so too. So, how does the uh, the poetry like? How does the creative process work? Does it just like hit you, like the epiphany did, or? Uh, it depends. Um, it could happen at any time, any day. I keep my phone next to my bed in case um, I wake up and I've had a, a dream, and I and I've, I I will write it right down. Then I'll look at it again in the morning. And sometimes so it's dream amazing. Dreaming poetry. Absolutely, I do. Absolutely, I do. Uh, sometimes I use alcohol, um, and sometimes I just, sometimes I just stare at a sunset. Yeah, and then and things start to happen. I mean, my eyes will water for a while, obviously, because of the sun. But then I just, I find a, a change happens within me. It's, um, it's, it's, uh, it's really something. Wow. Well, is there any chance you could maybe show our studio audience some of that sunset? Yeah, man. Come on. Oh, I'm not, no, I, I'm not prepared to. No? Oh, well, okay. Said, well, no, on, I do on, have something on, here, on. I guess. Oh, awesome. Yes. Well, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this is for anyone who has gone through a tough time in life, and I think, uh, I think we all have. It's called Divorce Papers. Divorce Papers served and witnessed Humiliated at my place of business, a fitting end to a romance born after hours on the boardroom floor. But business was my passion, love was a chore. Seven years later, my wife bored. As I read the letter from my wife's attorney, the tears in my eyes made my vision blurry. My heart a shattered vase. I wanted to blame her. I didn't know that she was doing me a favor. When she left for an artist fighting the system, I knew I had to find the artist within. So I hit the streets, just me and my poems. And as the crowds began to gather, I was no longer alone. Born again as a poet, I changed my style. And I signed my divorce papers with a smile. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's, uh... That changed my life. Thank you. Well, thank that you. That was fantastic. Oh, my wow, pleasure. thank you so much. I didn't even, I didn't even plan that. I just, uh, I just, I had it kicking around, oh, and wow. uh, it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed that. That yeah. was great. When uh, can we see the show? Well, it's actually there's a website. It's called uh, uh, www.whitecollarpoet.com, and uh, you can find out about myself and <clears throat> my wife and. Uh, a bunch of other people who I work with and I know, and uh, just sort of what's happening. Uh, Very cool. We'll, with, uh, with the white collar poet. Sweet. We'll throw it up on our website. Oh, that would Which be is, great. This is amazing. This yeah. is a great thing. And thank you for coming on the show. And Pleasure. Uh, just real quick, um, do we still have coverage here at Dead Before Bed? Uh, oh no, 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 no. In fact, I'm not even taking care of your account. You are absolutely liable for anything that happens. So I would, I would probably look into that. Yeah. Richard Scribe, everybody. Thanks for coming on. Let's get the show going. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So much. Thanks. 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 Thanks, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, awesome. Thank you. We'd like to say thanks, Richard, for coming. Now, our next act is a personal favorite of mine. Please welcome Vancouver's hip hop darlings, the Family Compact. <laughs> guys, thank you. 
Uh, sorry about the digs, but you know, we're working on it. So guys, uh, how do you feel? Ah! <laughs> Zia, come quick. I'll be a second. <laughs> oh my god. He's dead. I think he's been murdered! Murdered? Murdered? No, damn. Who are you? Inspector Bollard at your service. Now, if John was so popular, why was he killed? Uh, excuse me, sir. Um, how did you get in this in this room? Fine. I take the case. But uh, I, I I didn't ask you to take the case. It would seem that murder is on the menu, and we are all on the table. Bon appétit. <laughs> 